I'm JJ Zacharyson. This is the FanDuel Hurry Up. We're going to talk a little waiver wire action for week 13. And I think the obvious place to start this week is with Alexander Madison. Dalvin Cook's going to be sidelined for a couple of games. And we've seen Alexander Madison without Dalvin Cook this year. And it's been pretty good. He had 25 rush attempts and 26 rush attempts in his two games without Cook. And he averaged a target share per game, most importantly, of 22% without Dalvin Cook. Basically, without Cook in that lineup, the Vikings utilized Alexander Madison as Dalvin Cook. So he should be rostered in 100% of fantasy leagues after waivers run this week. And the next player, Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill is going to get the start on Thursday against Dallas, finally, over Trevor Simeon. As we saw last season in fantasy football, Taysom Hill as a starter is a good fantasy football asset. He averaged 21 fantasy points per game last season in his four starts. He had 52 rushing yards per game. He averaged a rushing touchdown per game as well. So Taysom Hill could be a QB1 from here on out. I think of Hill sort of the way that we think about Jalen Hurts, just not as good necessarily, but sort of the way that we think about Jalen Hurts because they're going to score fantasy points in a very, very similar way. And then finally, let's look at Chuba Hubbard. Christian McCaffrey, he's done for the season. Chuba Hubbard, without Christian McCaffrey this season, averaged an 81.5% running back rush share per game, a 10.4% target share per game. Those are really strong numbers. The problem is that Hubbard is not Christian McCaffrey. He didn't, ha he didn't have a single RB1 performance without Christian McCaffrey this season, and we shouldn't expect that, especially because over the last five games, the Panthers have really utilized Amir Abdullah as sort of the pass-catching back out of that backfield. Abdullah has a 14% target share per game over his last five. So I would add Chuba Hubbard over Amir Abdullah, but I think that Abdullah is a better value off the waiver wire this week because more people are looking at Chuba Hubbard as opposed to looking at Abdullah. And then the other thing to keep in mind, they do have a bye this week and the schedule in the playoffs for the Panthers backfield. It's not very good. So I'm not super, super high on Hubbard, but I do think that you should try to add it.